Now at 6, South Florida's Jewish community will celebrate the start of Hanukkah tonight. And the family of murdered journalist Stephen Sotloff will honor him tonight and also celebrate their first festival of lights without him. CBS 4's Marianne Martinez live in Pinecrest with the story. Marianne. Well, Rick, as you just mentioned, Hanukkah is the Festival of Light, so there's a pretty light atmosphere here at the Chabad House in Pinecrest right now. But in about an hour, Stephen Sotlop's parents will light the first menorah candle here, and they are expectedly, is expected to speak publicly about their son since his death. When Hanukkah begins tonight, the first menorah candle will glow in memory of murdered journalist Stephen Sotlop. And this is really symbolic of what the holiday is about. That in spite of where you are, what situation you may be in life, it's our responsibility and our opportunity to bring light into the most darkest places. Rabbi Yossi Harlig is the director of the Chabad House, where Sotlov's family will celebrate Hanukkah tonight. Sotlov was kidnapped by the terrorist group ISIS in August of 2013. His kidnapping had been kept mainly secret until ISIS publicly threatened Sotlov's life in a video this year. Sotlov's mother broke her silence this August, pleading for her son's life in the video. I ask you to use your authority to spare his life. The South Florida native who loved the dolphins and the heat was kidnapped in Syria while freelancing for Time magazine. Stephen is a journalist who traveled to the Middle East to cover the suffering of Muslims at the hand of tyrants. The 31-year-old was murdered by ISIS in early September. His family didn't speak publicly, instead expressing their loss through a spokesman. Steve was no hero. Like all of us, he was a mere man who tried to find good concealed in a world of darkness. And if it did not exist, he tried to create it. Tonight, Sotlov's parents will light the first menorah candle in his honor, a testament to their faith and strength. Stephen's grandfather, grandparents, were Holocaust survivors. So they, he was raised in a home that you could come from the darkest places where no one could imagine that type of darkness and pain. Yet you realize that no matter what you go through in life, you have an opportunity to leave that place. Now again, those remarks from uh, Stephen Sotlip's parents expected in about an hour, and we will have coverage of that tonight at 11. In Pinecrest, Marianne Martinez, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Marianne.